We are Flip Data Academy. We're exploring the world of data, analytics, and business intelligence, and sharing everything that we learn with you. We have how-to videos. We break down complex topics into bite-sized learning nuggets. We share full-length training videos and show you how to revolutionize the way you use data, all in the tools that you love. So join us on our YouTube journey, and if you like what we do, check out our content-filled website to join our community and see our premium training courses. Hi, this is Josh from Flip Data Academy, and today I've got another Power BI tip for you. So what we're gonna to create today is an image that dynamically changes based on a value. So you can have a container that has an image in it and that image will change depending on the value. So we're gonna use it to create a sort of target indicator. So let's jump to the computer and I'll show you how we do it. So here we are at the computer and I have this basic Power BI report set up. So we have a few different stores and I have the revenue by those stores and the revenue by the region. And then we have this KPI card showing you the total revenue per month. With the selector, I can select different months. So in this example, the store has a target of 31,000 in revenue per month. And we want to make that more visual on the page so it stands out a bit more. So the user can quickly identify if they reach that target or not. So one way we could do this is we could conditionally format the KPI card so the number itself changes from red to green if we reach the target or not. But I have a cool alternative. Using um, images, we can show that. So here on the second tab, I've got that set up. What you can see is this small icon indicating to the user that the 31,000 target wasn't reached. And if I select a different month, we can see that the target was reached because the icon has become like the green up row. So this is a cool alternative way of indicating if a target was reached to a user, but you can use these images for any number of things. The image changes based on a value that I've set. You can have a limited number of images based on lots of different values, but this is the way that I like to use them. So how did I do it? Well, let me show you. So I'm gonna head back to the original tab and I'll show you how I created it. The first thing we need to do is insert an image container. Now, Power BI by default doesn't have one, but there's one available in the extra visualizations. So to install it, I'm gonna to go to my visualization tab and I'm gonna click these three dots that say get more visuals. Then just gonna select get more visuals. And this is gonna bring me up to the visualization store where I can install some non-default visualizations. I'm gonna search for image. Once I've searched your image, the one you want to install is called Image by Cloud Scope. So just click Add. I don't need to because I've already got it. Once you've done that, you'll see that it appears here just under your visualizations, indicating that this is a custom one. So I'm gonna give that a click to insert my image container. I'm just gonna resize it a little. So I'm gonna make it small and I'm gonna move it next to my KPI card. So here's our image container. And what we're going to do is create a metric that measures the value of the revenue. And if it reaches target, it's gonna supply an image to this image container. And if it doesn't reach target, it's gonna supply a different image. So let's create that. So the first thing I'm gonna do is insert a new measure from the ribbon at the top of the page. And I'm gonna give my measure a name. So I'm gonna call it image switch. Okay, so image switch equals, and the function we're going to use is a DAX function called switch. So the switch function works by checking a list of expressions, and when one of those expressions has been met, it supplies a value. It kind of works like an if statement, except you don't have to say if. You basically write the list of conditions. When one of them met, it supplies a value. So what we're gonna use it for is check if the target has been reached or not, and then if it has, we'll supply the URL of the image, and if it hasn't, we'll supply the URL of the image to denote when the target wasn't reached. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do with the switch function is check the expression. The expression we're checking is whether the value is true or not. So I'm gonna just put true in. So this then kind of works like an if function, except you're not really using the word if. So we're checking if something is true and the value that we're going to check 
is whether or not the value of the sum of revenue has reached its target. So it kind of works like an if condition, except you don't need the word if. So I'm going to put sum and of the revenue from the correct table, and then I'm going to close that off. And it's the, if the sum of the revenue is greater than 31,000. So what we're checking is the checking the expression is true or not. The value we're checking is if the sum of the revenue has exceeded the target of 31,000. Then what we need to do is supply the URL of the green arrow. So if this condition is met, so if the revenue value is true, that it is over 31,000, the value we're going to supply is the URL of the image. So we need to do that between speech marks. I'm just going to set this up. So I'm going to put two speech marks. Then we have an else value. So else, I'm going to supply the URL of the warning sign, and then I'm going to close this off. So now I just need to insert my URL between these speech marks. So I've got them set up already. So these are quite long URLs. So I'm just going to paste them in. So here we go. So if you get these images directly online, you need to right click, copy image URL, and then you end up with these really long URLs, but it doesn't matter. So let me just grab you the green one as well. So this is the URL of the green value. I'm gonna paste it in there. And then all I need to do is hit enter to execute this measure. So this measure is checking if the condition is met. If it is met, it supplies the URL of the green arrow, else it supplies the URL of the red warning. So all we have to do is drag this measure into our image container visualization. So with it selected, just need to select my image container, drag our new measure into where it says image URL. And then you can see it shows us the green arrow. And then if I use my filter and I go to February, you can see it now changes to the red warning symbol. So there you have it. Okay, so that is it. There's loads of different ways you can use this function. I like to use it to indicate if a target has been reached or not, but there's so many other creative ways to use it. I'd love to hear how you can use this in the comments below. And if you like to learn more tips on Power BI, check out our catalog on our website, or here's some videos you will find interesting. We don't just make informative YouTube videos. On our website, we share free and premium courses, job aids, resources, webinars, and more. So if you like what we do, check it out. You can also find us on major learning platforms such as Udemy and Skillshare. Links to everything can be found in the description. Before you go, don't forget to hit that subscribe and notification bell to never miss an update. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.